Well, this is the LDB camp here. LDB is a long duration balloon. Our home away from home. They've been doing balloon launches here in Antarctica since uh, 1988. The Antarctic Treaty stipulates that the nations who want to be members of the treaty need to uh, do science here in Antarctica. All the nations of the world are hoping to be part of the Antarctic pie, and so there's a lot of science that gets done here. I can't imagine that there'd be the same level of investment in Antarctica as there is if it wasn't for the fact that it's a continent at stake. My name is Eric Hobday, I'm the station manager for McMurdo. In the summertime, McMurdo has about 1,100 people. This is building 155, it's one of the larger buildings on station. This hallway is Highway 1. On the left side, the first thing you'll find is the computer kiosk. On the right-hand side, we've got a couple of ATMs. The hallway behind me is Highway 2. This is the office of the Antarctic Sun, which is the newspaper that comes out every week. At the very end is the radio station. If you are here wanting to do your own radio show, you can sign up to be a DJ. All buildings have numbers. Some buildings go by their number, some go by their names. It's Mount Erebus in front of us there, southerly most active volcano in the world, and one of two that has a lava lake in the bottom of it. Just kind of continuously vents. This is Crary Engineering Lab here off on our right. Crary is the largest uh, research facility on the continent. There's also an aquarium down at the bottom. It has a touch tank in it so you can see some of the sea life that we have out here. There's a sea spider that's as big as a dinner plate down there. If you look on the hill, that's a satellite uplink station for NASA. We do have 24-hour fire coverage. During the winter time, the fresh food that we have down here goes pretty quickly. So during that time, the only fresh food we have is what we grow in the greenhouse. In the wintertime, it's especially heavily used since it's the only area that has anything green growing in it. The greenhouse grows enough salad and herbs so that everyone gets one salad once a week. We've got some hammocks and chairs in there. People can go in and actually feel like they're sitting in some place tropical as opposed to Antarctica. Big gym, there's both league play and just pickup games, basketball, volleyball, badminton, dodgeball. There's also a small climbing wall in there as well. Living in Murdo is kind of a cross between summer camp and being in college again. Welcome to room 216 of dorm 203C at Murdo Station in Antarctica. I have a roommate, Nick, who is luckily also on blast. 6.35, breakfast time. We're over to building 155, sort of the main hub of McMurdo. And most importantly, houses the cafeteria. There's a hot breakfast, there's cereal, there's toast, there's muffins, there's juice, coffee, pretty much all you'd want. Recycling is very big here, so we have to spend hours of every day sorting our waste. But I'm not complaining. I think it's great. Welcome to the Lost High Bay. This is where we spend our days. One of the fun things about life here at LDB in McMurdo is the long drop. That's an outhouse where they dig a big hole. So you gotta dress up, you gotta be quick, <laughs> and you gotta be able to hold your breath. These are very fragile, very expensive. This is the sort of thing that we do every day. I mean, that's what Blast is, it's tightening things up putting things on, making sure they still work like they did last time. Not what you normally think of as physics. I mean, how often do you need to wear sunglasses to do physics? Physics is all about the fast cars, the money, and the women. 11.30 means lunchtime. There's always a vegetarian option, which we're very happy about. Chef special. Burger. <laughs> food is nice. You have a good cook. So we got a brownie pizza. It's got about a kilo of peanut butter, custard on top. And I think this is designed for people who are working outside in the freezing cold all day long and eat about 3,000 more calories. I hear there's lots of people who just love this lifestyle and want to stay here and they're taken care of and everything's good. A lot of people come here, work for five months, and hit the road for the other seven. I'm a traveler. About four or five years, I've been traveling, just straight traveling with no real home. And this is just another place and it allows me a cheap trip to Australia. <laughs> I'm a chef down here, but at home I don't do much of anything. I'm a general layabout. 
I think maybe the one common thread would be people that are into sacrificing comfort for a period of time. That's my whole thing. Yeah, I can do anything for five months if I know it's going to end. <laughs> This vehicle is Ivan the Terabus. It's one of seven in the world. It's definitely the biggest vehicle on the continent. It weighs 67,000 pounds, which is almost 33 tons. Originally, I'm from Iowa. Back home, I'm an installation artist. Very different from life here. <laughs> the kind of people that don't really fit in in other places quite so much, you know? It's like, we can fit in if we want to, but we'd rather not. We're headed to the world's southernmost bowling alley. This place is intense. It's really intense. It's amazing, mm -hmm. but it's tough. The cold and the wind, the lack of greenery and trees. It's like being on another planet. I forget that there's a real world out there. Oh, yeah. One of my friends mailed me a book for Christmas, and I opened it up, and there was a squished dead bug on the front page. And I was like, <gasps> like I showed it to the people I was sitting with, and we're all like staring at her, like, whoa! <laughs> just little things like that, like that you. You don't even think about it, you just take for granted elsewhere that aren't here. Oh, that's a lot of the younger support people are just taking a couple years off after college and come here. But a lot of people have been coming here for 10, 20 years, every year. This place certainly has that remote feel to it, and that's great. And being on the ice shelf is pretty impressive. I was looking around and I was deciding out of the 360 degrees was there one or two that I could definitively say were not as pretty as the rest of it, but I wasn't sure that I could. It looked pretty nice. 